So it's been a bit since my last video, but I was waiting for Test Realm to be pushed to live, which it was a few days ago. And of course, the main update was the guild feature. And I was thinking about making a guild, but now that I, you know, <laughs> now that Test Realm's over and I see it on Live Realm and everything, I see the raids and stuff. I don't really want to make a guild because I don't know how dedicated I'll be to it. And I don't want a bunch of people to join the guild from the community or just from, I don't know, from, from my YouTube channel or wherever. And then be disappointed that I don't like continue to get on every day and like help the guild out and like do raids and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it for now. If you guys want to join a guild, if you're like waiting for me to make one, don't wait on that. Um, definitely just go join one. If you have friends that play and make a guild, yeah, do that. So that was the main update, of course, raids too. I don't know if I'm going to touch raids, honestly. It just seems like something that uh, requires a lot of coordination and is more in line with streamers to be able to do that. But they did come out with a new pack. And, you know, of course I'm going to cover a pack. Like My last video was a pack video. We did the Spiral Villains or pack. But this one kind of goes along with that. Like we got Malastare Saga Spellment Pack. I like doing pack videos because it shows you guys what's in the pack without you having to spend any crowns at all. And then if you decide that you want to go ahead and try to go for something in the pack, you can do so. But yeah, this one is unique because it's only Spellaments. There's only been one other pack in this game that's had Spellaments only in the pack, and that's been the Deluxe Spellament Pack. You used to be able to buy that if you paid $2 a month, you'd get one every month i think it was and that was it like you just got one for two dollars every month it was like a recurring charge i used to get charged that and i used to open them it canceled it on me i think and it just stopped charging me and then it didn't give me any of the spellment packs so i don't know whatever but this is the new one they have the malastare saga so we got the first five worlds of the game and i'm excited to see what's in it because it's supposed to be only spellments and spellments are like the biggest thing right now going on in the game, especially with all of the new spellments that they've added, the tiers that they've added to spell writing for a bunch of different spells. Obviously, we're not going to get lore master spells because those are going to be tied with the key bosses, but we could get other things. If I can get enough spellments to level up one of my storm spells, that would be great. It doesn't seem likely because I'm only three out of 115 on storm snake or thunder snake, but it's possible. Maybe I get some 30 drops. I did decide to upgrade Thundersnake with this. But yeah, we got a ways to go to, to max that. But apparently people have maxed different spells. Especially if you've been farming the gold keys and just spamming those bosses. You probably can get a lot if you just keep farming it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Sorry for the longer intro, but I haven't, you know, recorded or posted anything in a while. So I had to go over everything. We got Triton. Kraken and Lightning Bats. I like to see that. Uh, four Triton, four Kraken. Four, I mean, that's great. I will take it. And then, yeah, two of the other ones. I mean, can you get a 30 drop? Hopefully. These are only 200. Only. But you only get Spellaments. But the thing is, I always wanted a pack like this. And I suggested in the past, I was like, what if there was a pack that was just Storm Spells? Just Storm spellaments and they do a pack for every school like that maybe that's too easy but i'm gonna have to check my uh let's just leave this open like this eight lightning bats what if i like put it over here so we got eight lightning bats four storm zill for kraken okay we're getting decent amount of the storm spellaments i'll take it why are the storm ones always on the bottom are you guys seeing that eight lightning bats is that always the case, or am I just getting, like, weirdly lucky? Okay, storming up there. What the heck? Hello? <laughs> uh, Triton and Triton. Eight Triton, eight Stormzilla. I want to see more than eight in one drop. Four Storm Shark. This isn't bad. If you keep opening these, you could get a good amount. Every single time, it is giving me Storm at the bottom. I'm confused. Maybe that's a feature. Maybe you always get your school right here. Getting some Cyclops. The other thing is, have I gotten an eight drop of a different school besides Storm? 
That makes me want to try this on my life and see if we get the same results. But with life spells, it's always been three storm. Oh, 12 uh, thunder snake. 12 thunder snake is pretty good. Six cyclops. And then double kraken, four and four. I know the best way to get spellments is probably, besides like the ones for lore master spells, is through the elemental retriever and all that, that method. And I've done that method. You can get a lot of spellments from that. But it takes time. You have to wait for the cooldown. You have to run around different places looking for wood chests. So it makes sense for them to finally come out with something like this. Just so you can buy it. And since they're doing it with like Malister Saga, they're obviously going to do Morganth Saga because Spiral of Villains pack, they had Morganth in there. And then of course, Grandfather Spider, they're going to do that one too, probably. What do we get? Anything good? Six Phoenix. Yeah, this is like the most spellments I've gotten. Besides if I were to span the Elemental Retriever, but this takes way less time. Just 200 crowns <laughs> a pop. And you can get an infinite amount. So it seems like four is pretty common drop for these. There are two drops. There's no one drops, I don't think. So I guess that's good. I don't know what I'm scrolling. I'm like scrolling the crown shop over there. 12 drops seem to be the best. So are 12 drops the highest? Got two Wraith, 12 Kraken. I mean, this isn't that bad. I just wanna know if there's any like mega drops, like 12 is good. And <laughs> when I was buying the other Spellment packs back in the day, those were horrible. Those were like some of the worst packs I've ever opened. So this is already way better than that. Opening a pack and going for just Spellments from it when it gives you a bunch of garbage is so <laughs> Such a bad design. And uh, I remember going for Pigsy. Obviously, Pigsy is probably way easier to get now if you just spam the gold key boss. But yeah, at least now you can kind of focus on what school you want because it seems like I always get Storm School on the bottom row. We got a couple Leprechaun. I'm going to switch to my life here. 12 Thunder Snake. And we'll see if this happens with life spells. It probably does. 12 Thunder... I'm getting a lot of Thunder Snake. Maybe I can level up Thunder Snake with 115. Because in the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, 115, that seems like a lot. But if they keep giving me the 12 drops, and I don't feel like I'm spending, like, too many crowns. I mean, yeah, it's like 200 per. But compared to my other pack openings, this doesn't feel that bad. I don't even think I've spent 5,000 crowns yet. Stormzilla. Storm Shark, eight. We haven't got more than 12 of one. 12 Triton. Okay. Let's just spam this a little bit and then see if we can build up the Thunder Snake. Cause I feel like I've gotten a lot Lightning Bats 12. Okay, 85. Triple Kraken. That's literally 24 Kraken right there. I'm going to go until about 85,000. And then we'll see where we're at. I thought it popped up on the side if you were able to upgrade a spell in it. I don't think it did that unless I missed it. And we'll buy two more. Kraken and Triton. I can see it over there. Okay, 85,000. And we are going to check. Let's go ahead and just close that. We are going to check where we're at in terms of the Storm Spellaments. How many did I get? I got a lot of Lightning Bats. It felt like I was getting a lot of Thunder Snake, but no, Lightning Bats were the best. 126 of 115. That's good. What else? We were getting a lot of... Oh, we can level Storm Shark and Kraken 
And Stormzilla, almost Triton. If I bought a few more, I probably could get Triton. Okay, this is really good. Like, this is the best <laughs> that I've seen in terms of Spellman packs. And I've been waiting for something like this because I'm not against them just putting out a pack that allows you to buy it and get spellaments. And if you want it for a specific school, you open it on that wizard, which is what I'm assuming. So I've got Thunder Snake rank two. I've got Lightning Bats rank two. We can actually get it to rank three. So if we just keep going on the path here, we can get the damage increased by a little bit. I decided to go with this one instead of this because this one is three pips. Don't really need that. I only do PVE anyway. So will this unlock? Yeah, the 305 damage. So we can do that. 305 damage potential on our lightning bats. And then we can level up, what, two more? Three more. So Storm Shark, I haven't even started to level this one, but you can get a blade and a healing blade too. With that, does the damage go down? Yeah, the damage goes down by a lot. I'm just going to go with normal damage because I don't really need those. I mean, 10% is obviously okay, but yeah, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really too partial for, for these little buffs. So I'm going to go with 400 to 450 and that seems really good, at least for how I play the game. Maybe the blade could be good in certain situations, but yeah, I'm just going to go for damage. We also have Kraken. What does Kraken do? So just damage, of course, or clear in overtime and minus 10%. Minus 10%? Is this on an enemy? So it puts it on an enemy too. Okay, well, that's actually not bad. This is totally like reminding me of Beast Moon. So not only are you dealing damage, you're clearing an overtime on self, and then you're putting up a negative 10%. That's obviously more PvP focused, so I can see it working though. Like that's that's actually nice. Some utility going on there. But yeah, I'm just gonna go damage. I know, boring, but <laughs> if you were to use Kraken in PvP, I could see that. This kind of changes that a lot with all these different mechanics you can do. We also have Stormzilla damage, or you can do clear a charm on self. 115 damage so if you clear a charm you can do an extra 115 damage on this spell but yeah we're gonna go with the top tier for stormzilla there we go so we have some upgraded spells we actually have some upgraded spells if i buy a few more we can get Triton. let's just do it because i don't feel like i'm breaking the bank with this video usually i feel like that there we go Triton. how many Four. I think we need one more. Give me one more Triton. Fire Elf. Yeah, okay. That's two more. I only needed one more. But game is actually listening to me. Let's go over to Triton and see what this one does. You can go for damage, of course, or an extra plus 285 if you have an overtime on you. That seems good. That actually doesn't seem bad. And that also could work in PvE. Like a situational, you know, PvE type of buff, but I don't know. I mean, I do use Triton. You guys know I use Triton. 760. How often do I have an overtime on me in PvE? It's not like too often. It really just depends on the fight. And you can't like go back and forth. You have to just choose one. So feel like this is way more consistent just to get the damage. But it's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad uh, mechanic. If you want to go for that, if you feel like, you know, you have overtimes on you, you know, a lot, you can get that, get the extra damage for free. Okay, so I want to open up a few of these packs on my life just to see if it changes anything being on a different school. Let's go ahead and buy this. So yeah, the bottom row is reserved for your school which makes this pack way better the fact that you get your school in those three spots at the bottom and it feels like you get a higher amount of spellments that's just what it feels like because compare this four elephant two kraken two seraph two cyclops 12 nature's wrath 
12 Earthwalker, and then 8 Imp. Seems like you get more for your school. I like that a lot. This pack is actually pretty good. Because it gives you the spell elements directly. It's not like the other spellment packs that were very, <laughs> you know, very difficult to actually get the spellment dropped. So there's those. I'm not going to open too many in my life because I don't really care about upgrading the spells. 12 and 12. Seems like 12 is the highest. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. On my life, I don't think I'm close to any leveling of these. I'm actually really... Okay, I take it back. I'm pretty close. Amp is really close. Have I upgraded these at all? No. Pig Z, I do have leveled one time. If you guys remember that. What else? None of these. I dropped Nature's Wrath and Seraph. Wait, Earthwalker? Oh, I don't even have Earthwalker. Do I just learn this spell from Melinda Wu? Or <laughs> wait, wait, when did they add this? I actually haven't even seen this one. And then Centaur was in there too. Um, That's kind of funny. I didn't even get it. Okay, let's go see if Earthwalker is available here before we end this video. But I'm impressed. Like, they did a good job with, yeah, Earthwalker, right? Hunting Worm. I can get that too. This one's actually PvP only, so I don't even know if I care about that. But this one isn't. Wait, Sign of Life? Oh, that's the PvP only. I forget they did all this this crazy stuff. Um, yeah, Earthwalker. We want that. The rest of these, you can see the symbol in the middle of the card there. PvP only. So I'm not going to be grabbing those. Even though they're free, I wish they would kind of separate it and say PvP only, this tab, regular, you know, PvE. The other tab, but yeah, we already went over that in the video. It was a while ago, though. That's why I kind of forgot. But yeah, that is going to do it for this. I am actually impressed with this pack 200 per pack some people might say it's a little expensive but i'm gonna stay in here because i like the music but i think it's okay because it gives you what you want the three bottom spots of the pack is going to be your school and it seems like you get a decent amount of each spellman that you get so there's some rng there but it's not as bad as the other spellman packs that we've seen in the past so i like it it's a nice alternative to not having to spend so much time going for the elemental retriever and all that stuff. It feels like what it's doing is it's just speeding up the process of going out and farming all these from different bosses and from um, elemental retriever on wooden chests. So if you wanna do that, the option is now there. They're gonna add more probably too, Organth and all that. But if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on it, subscribe for more videos in the future. And uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.